Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Zach Hampson and today I just wanted to share with you all uh, my thoughts that I've been having recently about learning from those that you love. And uh, what I mean by that is learning from the more specifically talking about here, of course, I'm an artist here. So learning from the artists that I love, I'm talking to the artists here. Uh, so if you're not an artist and you just watch these videos for fun, I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you in this video. <laughs> oh, maybe you'll find this enjoyable either way. But essentially, what I wanted to talk about narrowly here is how us as artists can uh, use the people that we love and use the artists that we love and use the works that we love and study them and, and draw out the techniques and understand what it is that we love about those works and implement them into our own works, you know and really make them our strengths, you know? It, we love what we love for a reason, you know? And I love particular artworks for a reason, right? And so that's essentially our mind telling us, you know, hey, there's something in this work or about this artist and their, their works that, that I really resonate with and that I really love and it, it captivates me. What is it? And, and the quickest way and easiest way to find that out is actually to to replicate their artworks and study their artworks. You know, whether that be by, you know, a drawing or whatever. If you watch Cesar Santos's videos, he does paintings, right, in his sketchbook and he goes into the museum and compares his sketchbook to the museum piece, right? Some of us, like myself, don't really live near anything that that has any of that caliber of art that I, that I love. You know, there's local artists that I really admire and stuff like that, but nothing that really like gets my mind like, whoa, you know? <laughs> so what, what in that sense can somebody like me do, do about that? Thankfully, we've got the internet today. So uh, majority of my studies have come from the internet, you know, particularly in drawings and stuff of that nature. Uh, I've studied drawings on there. And what I mean when I say study is I essentially mean what I'm doing here. Let me show you. This is what I mean when I talk about studying. You know, uh, this was a scan in. I have a book here which I'll talk about in a second, but I scanned that image reference photo uh, from John Singer Sargent because I, I love his charcoal drawings and that's something I really want to uh, aspire to be like in my own charcoal drawings. And so, what I literally mean is take that, that drawing, study it, deconstruct it, and reconstruct it in your own sort of form. You know, whether it be one for one or like a little bit changed here, like mine's a little bit more cropped, you know, but it doesn't, you can be one for one if you want to. So the whole point here is just to study what you love. So to go on that, you know, for people that don't have a museum or something of that nature around them that they can go and visit and, and take like close up photos or whether paint or draw in your sketchbook and take it in and like compare, compare uh, in real time. You know, some of us don't have that luxury. What else can we do? We've got the internet, like I said before, or, you know, thankfully we've got really great high quality books like today's age. My camera's a little bit flipped at the moment. So everything looks back to front. Um, I'm, I don't know if I can do this in post edit. I can, might be able to flip it around. If not, I'll just leave it, but whatever. <laughs> I don't read backwards. It's not printed backwards. <laughs> um, so I picked up this book recently. Uh, funnily enough, Actually, I've been studying John Singer Sargent's uh, charcoal portraits for quite some time. And uh, where all my references came from was predominantly from the internet, right? And what I would get is from the internet and whatever, whoever had, had been like nice enough or kind enough to provide that reference photo up on the internet. I, I just type in John Singer Sargent charcoal drawings and because I wanted to study them. And whatever popped up, popped up. But thankfully, in October, this, this book here was actually released this year, October of this year. And it's all about his charcoal drawings. And I was like, well, I've got to get that. It's a fantastic book. I highly recommend it. John Singer Sargent, uh, Portraits in Charcoal. Super highly recommend this book. It's amazing. If you love his charcoal drawings, recommend this book. It's really well written, really well put together. It's awesome. But inside it is like a whole range of different, whoops, there that goes, different, you know, his charcoal drawings, you know, like a whole range of his, there's um, Yeats there, and then it's like just a whole range. 
of different charcoal portraits that he's done over the years. And this book is predominantly, that's it. This is what this book's about. And so what I, the point of bringing that up is there, there's things that we can get, you know, even if we can't get out and see the real thing, we've got reproductions, man. We can go buy the book or look online, see if you can find a decent quality image you can study from. It's pretty rough to find that. Books generally have really great printing and really great qual quality to them uh, for the most part, especially modern day books like this is. This is fantastic and I can study from this like I am right now, I'm studying from it right now. You, you just saw what I just showed you then. Another thing with the whole studying who you love and, and being immersed in that is it, it really channels our creativity and really channels our creative mind, you know, to, to immerse ourselves in things that inspire us. You know, inspiration is, is one thing, of course, you know, there's, there's inspiration and, and then there's, there's motivation. So people say that motivation is external, inspiration is internal. You know, I think either or, you know, you can get that inspiration, motivation, external, either or, whatever, whatever. And having these books around you is what's so great about powering up and, uh, <laughs> and, and being able to have these books, you know, next to your, your, in your studio is, is a really great way of being able to just pull on that, uh, that inspiration. You know, you, you, sometimes we're just working away, working away. We're working at our paintings and we kind of forget what it is that we love about painting, what it is that we love about the process. And, and we're going to reimmerse ourselves sometimes and recharge ourselves in what it is we love and why we fell in love with the whole aspect of painting or drawing in general, you know? So it's not only to better ourselves. Well, I guess it is only to better ourselves because generating that, immersing ourselves in that inspiration not only builds us up just uh, emotionally, but that can generate into our own practice as well. You know, help us with that as well. So I suppose it is to better ourselves all the way through. <laughs> but it can, but it can really just like refuel our drive when we're not feeling so driven. You know, I know I have days like that which I I feel a little bit lackluster. Um, I still get up and do it despite whatever I'm feeling. You know, but still I I really enjoy you know picking up like a new book I just got before, the Soroya Masterworks uh, book. By Blanca Pons Soroya, I think that was a a great grandchild of some sort, and it just documents his life as well as shows you all his amazing, amazing works in a really, really well written form, in a really well documented and really well reproduced images and stuff of that nature. So not only is it just inspiring, but it's really informative, and you know it's really encouraging to uh, read some of these stories because. A lot of, you know, the time we sort of go through life and we sort of go through our artistic practice thinking, oh man, has it always been this hard or, you know, the, whatever th such thoughts come into our head. And you sort of read these stories and like, it was much harder back then. They were able to accomplish many great things. Granted, they were extraordinary artists. Like I just picked up Soroya and Johnson Sargent. So be that as may, <laughs> you know, um, you can do many great things in this life, especially now that we have all these opportunities. Essentially, the main takeaway of this video, I know it's a little bit stagnant, it's a bit more just me talking than it is anything else. <laughs> but the main takeaway I wanted you to take away, I wanted to give to you guys, is that study the works that you love, emulate what you love about them, and draw on those strengths to push into your own works. I did this recently. John, John Singer Sargent uh, charcoal portraits that I've been doing, uh, I was able to draw on those strengths uh, that I've been, you know, mastering up from all the studies I've been doing of his works into a recent commission, you know, and it was, it was a portrait commission. Uh, in fact, it was two portrait commissions and, and it, I was able to emulate into my portrait the line work that I really love, the values and, and the composition uh, that I've that I've been learning and, and mulling over in my mind from all the studies that I've been doing from John Singer Sargent because I love the works and I've been studying it, you know? And so that's just an example of studying the work, replicating it, finding out what it is that you love, deconstruct it, reconstruct it, and put it into your own works and put it into your own style and use that as a strength and a building block that you can stand on top of and create amazing works from that. <laughs>
I know it's kind of short. I know it's just me talking, but I hope that you got as much value as I have been getting from putting this in practice. So, so go and have a look at the paintings, go have a look at the drawings, anything that inspires you, emulate it, replicate it, deconstruct it, reconstruct it, and put the strengths and the lessons that you've learned from reconstructing, deconstructing into your own works. I'll catch you guys later.